Hi Native Scripters, it's Alex for Nuvius again. I've been getting a lot of questions about the Native Script OAuth plugin, specifically how to use Facebook authentication with Native Script. And since I haven't done a video on this in the past, I figured I would do it now to help all of you out there that are desperately trying to log in with Facebook. Let's do it now and I'll show you how easy it is. Now a couple of words about versions first. Currently I'm using version 2.4 Point two of native script and you can get that using the TNS dash dash version command and if you go to NPM and search for native script OAuth you'll see that the current version is 1.1.5 that's what I'll be using for logging into Facebook okay so let's start from scratch here I'm going to go ahead and create a new native script application it's gonna be a TypeScript application and I'm gonna call it TNS OAuth Facebook and the dash dash TSC flag will specify that it's a TypeScript application. This creates the app for me. I'm going to change directories into that folder. Let's clear the screen here. And I'm going to open this up in my favorite editor, Visual Studio Code. There's my package.json file. You can see the version of TNS core modules here as well. So I'm going to open up this app.ts file. And this is where I'm going to add my OAuth setup. Okay, we'll get back to that in a second. What I want to do is go ahead and install the native script OAuth plugin. I'm going to use npm and I'm going to use dash dash save so that it actually saves in my package.json file. That pulls in the current version. Actually, that's 1.1.6. npm must have not updated my latest push. Let's see if I refresh it. Nope, it hasn't updated my latest push, but uh, the only thing I updated there was documentation. Let's bring up our code again. And if I take a look at node modules, there is native script OAuth. So it's been installed. And if I take a look at package.json, it's right there. There's the current version. For those of you that are using TypeScript, this is going to be pretty easy. And I'm actually going to go ahead and look at this native script OAuth documentation here and just follow along. So if I want to do Microsoft Office 365, you can do that. There's another video to do that but I'm going to do Facebook here. So let's see. I'm going to need to go to developers.facebook.com slash apps to create a new app. We'll do that shortly. I've already added this plugin. No need to do that again. So here's the bootstrapping section. This is what I'm going to do before application.start is called. For those of you using the Angular version of native script, this is before you call bootstrap. I'm going to go ahead and copy this right here, this import statement, and paste that into my code, just like that. Now, I could not be lazy, and I can also type it out, right? So if I start typing here in Visual Studio Code, it already tells me what modules are available for me to install, making it very easy to select that. Let's keep going. What's the next bit of code I need here for Facebook? Okay, this is for Office 365. We don't need that. And this is for Facebook. So let's go ahead and copy this code. I'm going to copy it. And I'm going to paste it in here. Facebook init options. We're going to need the client ID, the secret, and the scope. Uh, we're going to get that shortly. We're going to generate a new app on Facebook. So here you see an error, a TypeScript error. Why is this? Because in an older version, I had a TNS OAuth options Facebook. And in the newer version, I have, I called it something else. I called it ITNS OAuth Options Facebook. I standing for interface. I like to call my interfaces starting with an I. That way I know it's an interface. It's just a convention. And then after I've created the options here, I call TNS OAuth module and initialize Facebook and pass in the Facebook options. Let's go to Facebook and create a new app. So here I've logged into my developer account on Facebook and I have this old app which we're not going to use. I'm going to go here and I'm going to say add a new app. Create a new app ID. Okay, what's going to be my new app ID? Well, let's just call it that. AZTNS app 2. 
Okay, there's my contact email, and I'm going to choose a category, oh, communication. Create app ID. It's going to ask me to fill in this CAPTCHA. And Facebook is going to create a new app for me. Now, what we want is to add this Facebook login product. There's a bunch of different products you can set up. We want Facebook login. So I'm going to say get started here. And it's asking me to do a quick start. Now, I don't like these quick start things because I don't know if I want to click on iOS or Android or web. Let me just go ahead and go to settings directly here. What you want here is this embedded browser OAuth login. It's set to no by default, but you're going to want to turn that on. And I'm going to show you the error message that you get if you don't turn that on. So I'm going to go ahead and save changes. And what we need from this app is a couple of things. Let's go to settings. I'm going to need this app ID, so I'm going to copy it. Go back to my Facebook auth. And instead of this client ID that I've had here, I'm going to paste in this new client ID, which in this case is the same as the app ID. And I want the app secret. I'm going to copy this app secret. I'm going to paste it in my app. Okay. And the scope here is email. So there's other scopes you can use for Facebook. Um, this basically gives your application certain permissions to do in Facebook. Right now we're just using the email permission, but there's other ones you can specify here in the array. So let's start up this app. And I'm going to use the live sync command for that. I'm going to use the iOS emulator. And Live Sync is going to let me make edits while the app is running. Okay, that's going to take a little bit of time to start up. There we go. We've started. This is the default template that we get where we can tap the button. Uh, so let's make some changes right now. I'm going to shrink the screen a little bit so we can watch both things at the same time. And I'm going to open up the view model right here. On tap, this is the handler when you tap this button. What I want to happen here instead is I want to have the login procedure happen. I'm going to need to import this TNS OAuth module in my main view model as well at the top here. And let's take a look at the NPM module documentation again. Logging in. So here you can execute the login procedure. And that's fine, but I, I want to use this one. I want to ensure valid token. What this will return to me is the actual token, and it will go through the authentication process. So I'm going to copy this code and go back to my app. And on tap, I'm going to paste that code in. So once we get authenticated, this will just print out the token to the console. So let me minimize this. And I'll have the console up right here so you can see what's going on. And I'm going to tap on the button. Oh, what happened? Well, this is the error message that we get if we don't allow embedded browsers to use OAuth with the Facebook app. So what you need to do, remember, is go back to the Facebook settings and the Facebook login. What you want to do is em enable this embedded browser OAuth login. So I'm going to switch that to yes, and I'm going to save the changes. Now when I go to my app and I tap to log in, I get the Facebook login screen. Okay, I'm going to log in using my account. I'm going to blur this out so you can't see it. And when I tap log in, watch the console on the left side. First we get a screen that says what permissions your app will receive and uh, it'll receive your public profile and email address. That was that email we specified in an array for the scope. Okay, so continue as Alex, and we're logged in. And here on the left side, you see that we've printed out the token. And this is the token that you'll be sending to Facebook with every request. Well, thanks for watching, and I hope this helps all of you out there who are trying to log into Facebook with NativeScript. Okay, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Thanks a lot.